Hey everybody, it's Tiffany with Quick and Dirty Gardens and today I thought I'd make a quick video to talk about how to use Azamax on your houseplants to kill the bugs. Let's do it. Uh, it's pretty basic and easy. Azamax is an OMRI certified product which means it is organic. It's derived from neem and uh, can be used indoor or outdoor on your trees, shrubs, ornamentals, vegetable garden pretty much anything. Uh, today we're going to use it in the house for house plants. Um, this is a great product if you are suffering from spider mites. Um, thrips a little bit will help and scale insects. Um, it, it is effective on many many houseplant pests, mealybug included in that. And I have used it on all range of my plants from tropical to cactus to succulents and they've all responded just fine. I didn't have any um, anybody choke out or die or freak out because I applied the Azimax. So today I'm gonna to show you how to use it. It's really easy. Uh, I suggest that you use it both as a soil drench, meaning you're gonna water your plants in with it, and then also a foliar spray. Let's get to it. Uh, so what I like to do when I'm using any kind of chemical in the house, it's not, I mean, you know, product in the house, I, I, I give it its own, um, I give it its own water source. So I'm going to use this, this gallon of water just for Azimax. I'm not going to use this container for fertilizers or regular watering. I just use it for Azimax. That's just the way I do it. And I specifically got a gallon of water because it takes about two gallons to water everything when I do them all at once. And so it's easy peasy. I can do the exact measurements right here uh, with that gallon of water. And you can use tap water or go to the store and buy yourself a gallon of distilled water for 69 cents or whatever. Either way, works great. All right, so this is your product, Azimax. You can find it at garden centers, or I will put a link to um, Amazon. It's pretty cheap on Amazon, which is nice. Um, and it's gonna come, of course, with directions, destructions, and keep those. Look at them, read them, it's important. Do that, don't just follow my video. Um, uh, read the destructions and keep them on hand. Um, <clears throat> all right, and it'll tell you, uh, it's got great, um, uh, information in here on what percentage if you just want to use a little bit or if you want to go full on because you know you have a bad insect problem so it breaks it down percentage wise which is really really handy here for both foliar and systemic so here we go we're gonna go with uh, first right off the bat uh, let's do a soil drench so it says here uh, for a soil drench for one gallon of water uh, if you just want a 4% solution, one tablespoon, and then you can go up from there. I don't have a bad problem. I'm just doing this as a preventative uh, method. So we're gonna just go with the 4%. So I'm gonna do one tablespoon for this gallon of water. And again, this is a tool that I use just with my house plants. I don't take this out of the kitchen drawer, right? Like go to the Goodwill, go to the dollar store, get yourself a, a whole set of the measuring spoons and dedicate them totally to your houseplant section, not in the kitchen as well. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. Uh, instead of just putting the product in here and like hoping that I can mix it well without messing it up or dripping it everywhere, I'm gonna pop a little bit in here. This Pyrex is also just for my houseplants, even though glass wouldn't absorb anything and this is organically certified, so you'd be fine with pulling this out of your kitchen, but let's just keep it all in the houseplant section. All right, we're gonna get our handy dandy little product here. Do -do -do -do. It's got this crazy little measuring in milliliters, but it doesn't give you milliliters here. It just talks about tablespoons, so we're gonna use a tablespoon because <laughs> I'm not trying to convert things. I am not a math person. All right, uh, we're gonna go one tablespoon, goopity goop, goop, goop. And then this is actually a really fun part. Check it out. Ooh, a and it turns the water this crazy milky color. Pretty neat, huh? Science. Pretty fun. So, now that I've got that all mixed up, probably should have brought a paper towel out here. I'm gonna pour this back into my gallon container and that way I know it is thoroughly mixed. Dun, dun, dun. Here we go. This is good TV, right? Will she spill it? No, success. Okay. 
so now that's in there. Just gonna get a, a little zhuzh. Uh, I put the lid back on, but I don't trust this cheap little lid, so I'm just gently mixing it there. Gonna definitely put the lid back on this bad boy. Hello. Slip that over there. And then, um, I'm gonna pour it in here. This is what I use to water my plants. I don't bother with the little watering can. I can't, I can't be bothered with the watering can. Um, I just use an old soda jug, tonic jug, whatever. And actually, when I, I just fill it with tap water, and then I just put up the lid on very lightly and store it under my sink, and that way just a little bit of that chlorine evaporates off your tap water. Pro tip. And just so I don't make a mess, because I'm not standing over the sink, I'm gonna pour this back into this container, since it has a pour spout. And into here. If you trust your pouring skills and you're standing over a sink, go for it. But I'm gonna do a little back and forth here just for the sake of keeping it clean. All right. Oop, one little dribble, not too shabby. And then you just start watering your plants with it. Now, if you have something like, say, a cactus or something that you don't water very often and oops, and you know that it's just going to instantly drain through because that soil is really, really dry, uh, what you might do is get yourself a bowl or something or maybe just this container that you're using and you're going to water that in. And then if that soil were super, super dry and all that stuff just drained right back out like it kind of is here, you could then just use that and rewater until it seems like the plant's really soaking up the product. Because sometimes when plants are really dry, the soil becomes hydrophobic and it just runs right off and it doesn't actually soak into the plant. So this is a little trick that I do. Also great for just when you're watering your plants regularly. If something just won't take the water and it keeps pouring through, Put it in a container, water it, let it sit in that little bit of water and the plant will take up what it needs. And then you can come back a few hours later, shake it off and put it where you need. Uh, there we go, so that's that. I'm gonna show you a foliar application as if you don't know how to use a sprayer. Once again, I've got my little sprayer. I love these little um, sprayers, um, Delta sprayer. It's like under three bucks. I think they're really great. I'm just gonna throw that around and I won't edit it out because I don't know how to do that. And uh, bum, bum, bum. see, I should be going back into the glass jar. Ooh, yes. Dun, 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 dun. Now this is an organic product, so you could probably spray it around in your house and be just fine, but I don't know, it might make your walls sticky or something. So you might just take your little buddies outside and give them a spritz outside. Now anytime, see I've labeled it, I'm only gonna use the spray bottle for the Azimax. Anytime you do a foliar application, no matter what the product is, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you get the whole plant, not just a little doot doot doot. Prime, pump the prime here. Prime the pump, one of those. Watch, this doesn't work, that's gonna be great. Wait. This is when hopefully I'll learn how to edit this part out. Okay, there we go. Get yourself a nice fine mist. And then you're gonna hit your plant, boom, boom, boom. And you wanna make sure, boom, 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 you get on the back too. Now I probably should have laid out a towel so I could really, really go to town on this or take you outside, but I'm not gonna do that. Uh, so we're just gonna, obviously you know how to spray your plant, okay? Bam, 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 like that. Get it soaked, get it dripping, get the little, you want it all up in there because those spider mites, they be hiding. Those thrips, they're in there. Okay, that mealy bug, it's way down in there. So make sure you get all the nooks and crannies of all your plants. Don't just treat one plant, you're gonna wanna treat everybody, okay? Now, you're gonna wanna use this product about, if they say if you use it three times in one month, both soil drench and foliar spray, you're gonna rid yourself of the problem. So about every 10 days, go at it and uh, for, for three times and you should be really good. If you have a super horrendous problem, you can go as close as three days apart with your treatment. Um, if you have like mealybugs just covering your plants or something. So you can do it every three days. I do it about every 10 days if I find I have some kind of outbreak three times and everybody looks great and seems to be happy. Um, also, first line of defense I forgot to mention, when I see um, insects on my plants is often just rubbing alcohol. It can treat a lot of things. I just pop a sprayer right in the bottle and I use it full strength and I've used it on 
all of my plants, once again, cactus and succulents, without any damage. You might want to just hit it with a tiny little corner and make sure your plant's not going to freak out. You can also dilute it with water. Um, but rubbing alcohol is a great first um, attempt. You know, if you're just, just seeing bugs, it's a good thing to start with um, if you don't want to spend the money on something stronger. But like I said, this is OMRI certified. That means it's organic and it's good for indoor and outdoor and your vegetables and it will rid you of your pests all right if you have any questions let me know in the comments i'm sure i missed something and if you like what you saw give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel so that you are aware of when i type uh put some more stuff out um type things i don't type uh all right uh have a great day thanks for watching and happy gardening you guys